Hi friends, I am Shiva. Uh, today we are going to discuss about uh, how to validate add to cart functionality using page object model in e-commerce website. Right? So while uh, doing this automation, we are going to use these concepts. We are going to use our actions class and JavaScript executor and uh, POM design with Selenium implementation, assertions and test engine. So I am going to cover these concepts while implementing the add to cart add to cart functionality okay first i will show you the functionality what i am going to automate so here uh, in this page if you scroll down you can able to see lot of images like there are seven images are there so each and every item i want to take any one of the item for example i want to take this item then when i click more button it will show one window in this window if you can able to see there are three boxes one is quantity one is size another one is color and add to cart button right so in this quantity i want to change some value right and in this drop down i want to select medium and i want to click add to cart once i click add to cart now this window will appear right so in this window i want to click proceed to checkout when you click this it will open the window and see while doing manually so suddenly it will changing three products but uh, when when we do automation it will not come here three so we need to refresh the page right so i will show you how to do so now um, we want to validate if this three is there or not right okay so now we will start uh, doing automation so first um, I will go to home page now. See here, um, now my Eclipse is ready. See for that I am going to create one project, um, Java project. So in that project I want to give name as um, um, add to cart. So add to cart functionality validation right just to finish it off here and it will uh, so now what I'm going to do is anyhow I'm going to use page object model when we talk about page object model there are three packages we need to create uh, one for pages first I will create packages so if you have any doubt on page object model you can watch my previous videos how to implement a page object model using page factory so i am going to apply this so here um, i am going to use one naming convention com dot automation practice right then pages so it's simple naming convention see for example the page is www automation practice dot com right so the domain will come first um, com then the website name so automation practice then dot pages so this will come here so we have to uh, follow this naming convention while creating the packages then you need to create one more package um, new then packages com dot here you can give automation practice dot test then I want to create one more package that is selenium implementation so not class want to create package so right click new then package see here com dot not com so here I can give selenium implementation okay UAT, okay selenium implementation okay you can finish it off now so first i want to implement this selenium implementation package so right click new then i want to create one class see here i want to give selenium implementation and so 
so here what I'm going to do is all selenium methods I'm going to write right here for example I, I sometimes I need to click or sometimes I need to send keys sometimes I want to select uh, this drop down right so those th kind of methods I'm going to write here so that while creating the test case it will be very helpful to us okay see the first method I want to do perform mouse over because when you scroll down if you want to click uh, this more button I need to do mouse over right so I, I, so I need to write one method and so just first of all so before I want to import the selenium right so add external jaws mm. first I will import selenium and I have I am going to use test ng also for executing a test case so I will include these three packages then apply and close so I have added uh, three ok so you can import it from selenium now right so selenium dot interactions actions ok so I want to write one method now public void perform mouse over right so here I need uh, the element and one more thing is web driver then only I can able to mouse over for the particular element so here now you can import uh, your web element and your web driver right so I want to create object actions already action I have declared above so I can create directly action equal to new actions of driver so here I have not implemented this test base that I will cover it in different video because when we talk about uh, framework then I will uh, I will I will bring this so here it must be actions not action but it must be actions that's why it is showing here so now what we need to do action dot move to element right so already I have received my element from page object move to element then build dot perform so I have explained when we use build and all in the previous uh, page object model video so you can watch my video so that you will get more idea about it build dot perform see here so now it will do uh, mouse over ok then next one is I need to click the more button right so for that public void click I need to write one method so here web element element here you can write element dot click so if you can able to see here I have a mouse over it I need to click it so once I have clicked it will open one window right so I need to by default it has one so I need to clear this so for that I need to use public void clear so I need to own method called clear so it will receive the element element right so here element dot clear so now this will clear the element ok so now I need to set text over here so for that I need to write one more method public void set text right so here you can write set text so here you can write um, string text also you need one more method 
you need the element also so web element the element right so here the element dot send keys of your text so now that uh, text will be assigned to that text box right once the text is assigned i need to click on drop down right so public void and we will locate this so you inspect when you inspect you will get directly select so in select um, values are assigned in see here visible text so now the values are assigned in visible text so here select by visible text right so here you need a web element of select so web element of select um here select um what we are looking here size so select size then string text so which one you want to select okay, so here what we need to do is select yes equal to me select of and this element right so now you can import your select so import it here so import your select then yes dot select by visible text so you can give your text over here right okay so now that i ha i have selected that value also now now i want to click button so you know how i have created the method for uh, click right so when i click this button what will happen is it will open one window so for this button um we cannot uh, click using the normal selenium click so we need to use javascript executor so because i have tried it we are not able to click using normal normal click so we need to use javascript executor so i am going to use uh, javascript executor public void click using javascript javascript executor right so here you need web element element so driver driver right so now here you can uh, so uh, what i need to do is i need to create javascript executor javascript executor executor equal to i can use it here instead of typing i can use it here where you can write your driver automatically you can use your driver now you can not so here it should be small yes okay so now you can import the javascript executor from selenium here also you can use a small s right now executor so executor dot execute script and here you can write javascript code so arguments of 0 dot 
click. So, this is JavaScript code we are using to click the element. Okay. So, arguments of the click. So, here you can give your element which element you want to click element right ok so now I can able to click using javascript executor so once I got click right so once I have clicked what will happen is um, it will open the this window I need to validate this text see for that while uh, doing manually it is showing one but when you do automation this will not show this one because uh, there is some issue in this website so we need to refresh when we do automation so I am going to write one method for it public void refresh so there I am going to use driver dot navigator so here we should receive web driver then only I can able to write web driver driver so driver dot what happened oh, you are not able to ok web driver so r is missing so driver dot navigate dot refresh so the page will get refresh after get after no after the page getting refreshed i want to validate this one okay so for that i need to write one more method value public right public boolean validate text for this i need web driver driver and web element element and string text like uh, we expected text expected text so we are writing now all our reusable methods so here you can by default it will return false right so we need to write a code for now string observed text observed text equal to driver dot get text off Where is it? Get text. Okay, not the driver. The element dot get text. So this method will return that element in a HTML value, not in a HTML value. The text it will return. Whatever the text is available in that element, it will return. Now we have to validate. So here, not on served, it should be observed. Okay. So here you can write observed text dot equals then expected text so here expected text so now you can write if condition so if I had already written if this condition is true you can return true ok so now I have written all the reusable methods so now we have to locate the elements using page factory and we need to do the validation the one part is over ok the second part is we need to write we need to create one class so right click new then class the class name is you can write um, um, add to cart add to cart page so here so from the beginning we need to locate the element 
right so come here then close this window right go to home there you can remove this so click on drop down close this right and home button instead we can refresh also that's fine okay so what we need to do is we need to locate this element first right so right click inspect so now the right side the window will appear you can right click copy then export so you can come here so here at find by you can write x path equal to so if you have any doubt on uh, this page factory you can watch my previous video so that you will get more clarity how to implement a page object model using page factory i have given the video you can watch and come back to see this video so that you will get better idea so here um, item image so i want to import this from selenium so web element right okay so before i want to use page factory right i will i have to write uh, one constructor to initiate my web elements so public I mean class name then page factory uh, it should load page factory dot unit elements so here you can write uh, driver comma this before we need to initiate the driver over here so here the driver the driver so we need to import web driver here we import it okay okay so now mm, i will write one method public validate add to cart right okay so that return type should be boolean so that i can validate from the script so here you can write return false by default we can write return false then after we will modify this okay so now we need to perform mouse over for this we need to do one more we need to create object for the our selenium implementation so for that selenium implementation that is a called i will give one object name selenium so here you can write selenium equal to new selenium implementation of so the object has been created so now from here i can able to do okay so first method selenium dot perform mouse over my element is item image okay so item image then driver fine so i have done the um okay so this method should return the driver driver okay so now this will um perform mouse over will happen now so once that uh, mouse over is happen i need to click on the more button now if you click this this button will have uh, this button will appear so right click perform inspect so um 
of the D6 path. Copy. Next path. We can write it over here. At find by x path equal to we can put it over the web element dtn more right so now i want to click this button right so so then you want to click click my button is button more here you can write btm mode right so once i have clicked what will happen it will open the one window okay so anyhow i'm not going to work on uh, this one i'm going to work on the second image only right so i want to Okay, click on more button. Correct the second button only. Okay. So click on more button. So I want to change the quantity. So here first I want to take this element txt quantity. Inspect. So here you can at find by the x path equal to you can put your x path over there element okay that x path has not copied actually quantity right click copy x path okay you put your x path over there so that it will be copied automatically so web element so that element name is txt quantity okay so now i want to clear this so here you can write selenium dot clear txt quantity so i have cleared it so now i want to set text over there so txt quantity dot set text so not okay set name dot set text set text i want to give 3 and the element is txt quantity okay so i have set the text now i want to select a value right so we inspect this take the x path of the selector so copy then the x path okay so you can write your element so at um, find by at find by here we will you can write your x path so x path equal to then web element select select size so here you can write um, selenium selenium dot um, select by visible text so size so this is uh, web element so select size and this size is medium I want to select medium ok so when you click on drop down small medium and large so I want to click medium that's why I have given M. Then after clicking the medium, I want to click Add to Cart. So right click and inspect. Right. So
so copy export okay so you can create at findable again write your export equal to so your export then web element btn add to cart ok so now we need to click this button ok selenium dot click this element add to cart button right so once it is clicked it will open one window so scroll down here and for this button I need to copy CSS selector right and here we can add findable the export not export CSS equal to the selector called CSS right and element btn checkout checkout right now I want to click this button using JavaScript selenium dot click using JavaScript executor here that element is btn checkout sorry here you can write btn checkout then driver so that button now will be clicked by javascript executor mm -hmm. then mm, now i have clicked this once i click this what will happen is this bar this um, page will appear ok now i want to validate this so now right click and inspect here we just copy the export so now you can write uh, at find by export equal to here web element mm, caught text ok so here once I click I want to refresh I told you right because while doing uh, automation that number will not appear so we need to refresh then only it will appear ok so refresh then selenium dot validate text so driver then the element is uh, caught text then the expected text will be 3 right ok so now I want to validate right so this method will return if you come here this method will return boolean value right? so this method will return the boolean value so I will return this value so this method will return boolean value I want to return that value to the script ok so validation is 10 so this is the way you have to start whenever you are going to write any functionality automation so that first you have to start writing page objects once all the methods are over so you can easily do all these steps ok so now I want to create one class file here this is called test script so here um, add to cart test so I am going to use uh, test ng so here um, 
I want to write uh, before test so here I want to write before test here and uh, I want to right so I want to write one setup method public void setup this is my before test method here I will write mm, mm, ok so here system dot uh, set property here I want to write I am going to use uh, chrome driver so web driver dot chrome dot driver and here you need to give the link of your where your driver is located so here it is there my driver you just copy it and paste it over the chrome driver copy it dot exe ok so now the second step is so here you just declare web driver a driver so import the web driver over here ok so now you can write driver equal to new chrome driver of right so here you can write driver dot get then link of the site so just copy this not this one mm, go to home go to home and copy this page put it over there ok so driver dot manage dot window dot maximize ok so now we need to create a object for our page object class so just I want to declare above mm, sorry I have to it must be go so auto got page so I will give page right. so here I just I will copy this that will help so page equal to new page of driver because this will initiate all the elements right ok so if you have any doubt on page factory please watch my previous video so i have given video for uh, page factory also Your page object model using page factory so that will help you to understand this how this works and all ok so setup is done so i need to write test case test so public um, void um, validate uh, to cot right so you can import this ok so you can directly write now asset dot asset group this is asset true the so boolean condition is page dot validate add to cot right so now i have written my test case ok if i execute this what will happen is when i create object so it uh, so i want to create ok let it be um, ok so when I create object for uh, this class automatically that uh, this page elements will be loaded ok so this all the elements will be loaded right so page factory dot init elements 
so this concept will be called automatically this page factor will initialize all the elements then I can uh, do all these steps right so now I will execute uh, my test case and check whether it is working properly or not so right click run as test ng I want to click this so mm, we'll see how it works so so many steps we have written more than uh, uh, I think more than 8 to 10 methods we have written today we'll check uh, um, how this is this is going to work and all ok so it is loading the browser it will ex maximize now um, so if it anything goes wrong we have to validate uh, we have to verify so it is maximized mouse forward quantity 3 changed size should be m yes it all changed yes it click that to cut button also so it will appear ok ok I, I did not call the refresh button that is the problem so I will uh, write this method over this because everything is working fine so yes it got refreshed also it's saying uh, your cart is empty why mm. so i have uh, cart text has been changed to three validate text mm. we'll go to the definition validate text observed text and element dot get text that equals expected text return to so the the issue is um, go to console what happened um, asset got failed maybe um, in implementation I want to check whether it is giving um, 3 or not so, so here sometime it will go wrong so here now you can execute this not from here if it returns 3 then issue with ref oh, refreshed also I want to click one more time check one more time so once click using javascript executor button ok once the button got clicked ok so we will execute now text 3 okay. ok so this method will be called twice so that is the reason it has written false ok now I think it will work ok now we will run this test hope it will work now mm. it will get maximize now yes yes it's going to maximize So it's getting maximized now. Um, loaded. Yes, it's getting maximized. Just to scroll down now. Yes, mouse over. And that add to cut got clicked now. 
quantity has been changed to 3 yes size should be medium yes add to cart also clicked and proceed to checkout but uh, it's showing ok got changed to 3 ok I think our test case got passed yes got passed great ok so the thing is that in that uh, page I have called this method twice so that is a problem so here what we have done is in selenium implementation um, we have written all the reusable methods now these methods are common so any class can access these methods and uh, in add to cart page so this in this page we have uh, located all the elements and these actions right so these are the steps for writing this test case we have written 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 steps we have written and it returning boolean value to this area so this assert will verify whether it is working or not right so now um, we have covered many things over here assertion we have covered refresh actions javascript executor so so this is the way you can start work okay so thanks for watching video um, subscribe this video for more videos thanks for watching